Hey there, have you ever watched a live stream and you've heard someone uh, touch a button on their Rodecaster Pro and play a sound like this? Or like this? Or like this? Bruh. Well, for those of us who are not able to touch the sound pads on our Rodecaster Pro simply because we do not have one, I have a wonderful solution for you. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a website where you can download these sounds and many, many more. I'm also going to show you how to program your stream deck so that when you're on a live stream, you can use these sounds as well. Let's get into it. Hey there, my name is Mr. Riley from Mr. Riley's World. And if you have not had a chance to visit my channel, I focus on early childhood special education, teacher technology, and also I create videos centered around my family. Okay, everyone, so the first part of this video is we're going to introduce you or take you over to a website where you can download any kind of, almost any kind of sound that you want to incorporate and program into your stream deck. So let's go visit there real quick. It's called My Instance. Dot com and what I will do is I'll put a link in the description below uh, for this particular website but as you can see uh, my instance right here in the top uh, left corner and then you can also search for a sound and then if you click uh, the menu titles here uh, you can look for trending you can look for new sounds there's different categories and so if you just click on categories games movies television and things of that nature so whatever kind of sound uh, that you want to use and download you can pretty much find here on this particular website now you have to be careful because a lot of uh, the titles on this particular website are explicit and so um, you pretty much just have to kind of uh, use some some good uh, knowledge and, and make sure that you know you're looking for the sound that you want so if I uh, scroll up and this is the home page here and so as you can see the first button that I used in my in the open to open this particular video was bruh. Hey, bruh. And so, um, so you see the different names here: Buzzer, Taco Bell. Um, if I want the air horn, there's the prices. Prices right sound. So there are countless sounds, and all you have to do is kind of search for them some of them are centered around video games so i just saw among us and so i don't play among us shame on me i know however this is probably probably one of the sounds that you would hear if you play among us and let's see so there's countless sounds and so i'm going to do a search for uh, several sounds that i want to incorporate that i don't have into my stream deck one of the things i like about this particular uh, site here is that you can actually register for your own account and so if you go to my favorites and so if you want to log in and create your own user account that way you can save all the sounds that you've downloaded and even if you're a person who likes to uh, create sounds you could also hit upload sound and I'm sure once you create your own uh, your own login you can upload sounds as well so let's go ahead and download several sounds that we can incorporate into the stream deck so i kind of like the law and order sound the dun dun so i'm going to go up here to the search area and just simply type in law if i can spell it right law and order and hit return and let's see what it comes back with okay so it says no results and sometimes when you put in the search for a particular sound, it might come back as no results. However, I know I saw it a few moments ago, so I'm going to go to, uh, let's go to television and let's see if we can find it from this particular uh, space. There it is. And so even though it says law and order, it wouldn't come up. So sometimes you have to really search for it so here it is. Here's the sound. I'll play it one more time. And so simply I just click on the, the title and it's going to take me to download. Ask me if I want to download. And so simply I'm going to download the MP3 version of this file. And as you can see at the bottom of, of my screen, it's downloaded. And so let's look for a few more sounds that we can program into the stream deck. 
Okay, I see another sound that I want to download. So SpongeBob is very popular. So let's just click on it and see what it says. A few moments later. Alrighty, so again, we're just gonna click on the link and we're gonna download this particular file onto my iMac. Download MP3. And at the bottom, you see it's being saved. And let's look for one more sound. Okay, so I have one final sound that I want to incorporate, and that is the Cardi B sound. And so it's this sound right here. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny. So we're gonna go ahead and download this one as well. And let's just scroll up just to double check. Ow. Alrighty, and so we're gonna hit download MP3. Okay, so the first part of the video is complete. We've downloaded three particular sounds that we're going to incorporate and program our Stream Deck so that we can use it in our lives. Let's go to the next step. Now we're ready to uh, configure our Stream Deck. So if we go to the top menu of our screen here and see this icon right here, this is our Stream Deck icon. So I'm just simply gonna click on it, configure Stream Deck and it should pop up right there on our screen. Now, uh, this particular profile already has many sounds that, I, uh, that I've used in my live streams and that I've downloaded from myinstance.com. Um, and so here's one of the sounds that I have um, already downloaded. LeBron James. LeBron James, and then also the Ice Cube Thug Life uh, Vine song. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and program, bring those sounds into um, our stream deck here. And so right here at the bottom, I have these uh, three areas. These are the areas where I'm going to program uh, the sounds that I downloaded a few moments ago. So it's very, very easy. Uh, you just simply click on uh, the key tab that you want to program. And then down here you give, uh, there are some options for you. And so you can uh, change the title. So the first one will, We'll title this one Law and Order. Law and Order. Okay, now we've already edited and named our button Law and Order. And so now we just simply want to choose the file. So just click Choose File. And then our download option should uh, pop up on our screen here. And we're simply going to look for Law and Order. Now, what I did do is um, I went it, went ahead and changed the name to Law and Order. Um, I believe it downloaded as Dun Dun, right? And so just to make it easier for me, I just changed the name to Law and Order. So as I scroll here, um, there it is right there, Law and Order dot MP3, click open. And now it's assigned to this particular button on our stream deck. And if I were to select the button right now, it should play the sound. There we go. And so we're going to do that for, um, for SpongeBob and also for Cardi B. So same thing. We just simply click on the button here. Um, we're going to title this one SpongeBob. So we've changed the title. We're going to select an item. So choose file once again. And because I have already, again, renamed this particular file SpongeBob, I'll go to my music downloads uh, portion of my download folder. And we're just simply going to look for SpongeBob. And this is one where it says a few moments later. So hit open. And if we want to make sure that it is programmed into our stream deck, we simply hit the button on my physical stream deck here. A few moments later. There we go. And one more sound. And this is going to be Cardi B saying, ow. C-A-R-D-I-B. And simply choose file, downloads folder again. And we're looking for Cardi B. She's the first one that comes up in the C section. C section, see what I did there? <laughs> All right, hit open. And if we play the button or push the button on the stream deck, it will play the ow. Ow. There we go. Now we could take um, everything one step further. Um, these top row, these top two buttons, they all have icons. And so 
the last part of this video, I'll show you how to download icons so that your buttons can be identified simply by looking at them. And you won't have to worry about or struggle to look at your stream deck um, by simply the, the default buttons on the stream deck. So let's go ahead and download some images and assign to these three buttons. That way we'll know what buttons we're pushing during our live. Okay, this last part of the video, we're just simply going to download some icons. That way we can assign to our buttons on our stream deck. So simply, um, let's do the SpongeBob button first. And we're just simply going to type in SpongeBob. And we want a few moments later. And because I've already searched for it before, we're just going to simply click on it. And it's right here. So basically what I do is usually I'll just click on the image and it's something that I'll just click and drag over to my desktop. So we'll add it to the desktop and it'll sit there. And then let's do law and order. So we'll do a search for law and order. Okay, so what I normally do is I try to find icons that are square. So for this particular law and order, I could scroll. Um, and if I don't see anything, I can just simply use what I have here. So I like this this particular icon. And so I'm just going to simply drag it over to my desktop. And then when I assign this particular picture on my stream deck, it will appear square. And it's only for me to know that I'm pressing the law and order sign. It's not um, like anyone else is really going to see it, but it's uh, really for me to identify what, bu what button I'm actually going to push. And then I already have one of Cardi B um, with the coronavirus. And so I could either use that or simply download another Cardi B. C A R Cardi B. So I just want to look for um, a picture of Cardi B, um, something that's not too risque. Um, so let's go ahead and use this one right here. That one is kind of nice and we'll just drag her over as well. And so now all of our pictures have been downloaded and now we're going to go back to the stream deck and add these pictures uh, and put the final touches uh, with adding sounds and images on our stream deck. So let's go for it. We're going to pull it back up again, configure stream deck. Okay, everyone. So now we're down to the final part, uh, just making sure that we assign an icon to the appropriate button on our stream deck. So let's bring in configure stream deck once again, top menu, configure stream deck and looks good. And so now we're gonna just simply put our icon so that we'll know which image um, that we're gonna push when it's time for us to push it. So law and order, again, it's very easy to just click on the button and then it'll ask you if you just go over to the button icon, the sound icon that you see, and there's a small little arrow that's pointing down. You just simply click on it and you want to set from file. And so we're going to do a search um, and it's on my desktop because I just, I just clicked and dragged from Google and we're going to look for, um, this was law and order. So we're looking for law and order and there it is. Boom. Let's put it right there. And as you can see, it fits nicely into that particular button. And we're going to do the same thing with the SpongeBob button. Just click on the small arrow, set from file, and we're going to select SpongeBob. This one might be it. Yes, a few moments later. And boom, it appears on our physical stream deck. And then the last one is Cardi B. So we'll just click the arrow, set from file, and we'll look for Cardi B on our desktop. Boom, there she is. Now, Cardi B already appears. And so if I want to add, ow, so I can just put a hyphen. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, www, right? Not too sure, not too sure how you spell ow. So we'll just leave it at that, hit open. And now when I push all of the buttons, the physical buttons on my stream deck, I'll get each of the sounds. So here's law and order. Here is SpongeBob. A few moments later. And here is Cardi B. Ow. 
All right, everyone, it's just that simple. Uh, basically, in this video, we just learned how to go to a particular website, download some sounds that we can uh, program into our Stream Deck, and that way, when we're on our lives, we can use the sounds uh, during our lives and uh, during our Zoom calls and things of that nature. So hopefully you found uh, some value in this particular video. Please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave a comment, like, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that way, You'll be notified anytime I drop a brand new video. And uh, yeah, the Stream Deck is the way to go. Even if you don't have a Roadcaster Pro, you'll definitely be able to use the buttons on your Stream Deck to play any particular sound that you want to play during your live. Thank you for watching. And until next time, Mr. Riley from Mr. Riley's World is out. Peace out. Be safe. Bye-bye.